When we add functions, we write them as f plus g of x. This is the same as f of x plus g of x. And with a number, we will evaluate both. Then add the results. With a variable, we will add the two functions together. And don't forget to use parentheses. Let's look at example one. We're given f of x and g of x, and we're asked to find f plus g of negative two. We know that f of x is given as x minus four, and we need to evaluate f of negative two. We know that this is negative two in place of x minus four, which is equal to negative six. We also are given g of x, which we know is x squared minus six x plus eight, and we're going to evaluate f of negative two, sorry, g of negative two. This will give us negative two squared minus six times negative two plus eight. If we simplify this, we get g of negative two equal to four plus twelve plus eight or twenty-four. Now that we've evaluated both f of negative two and g of negative two, we know that f plus g of negative two is equal to negative six plus twenty-four, which is eighteen. In example two, again we're given two functions and we're asked to find the sum of f and g of x. Notice that in this case, we have a variable and we'll have to add the two functions together using parentheses. f of x plus g of x will be the same as x squared minus five x plus x minus five. From here, we can just add the two together by adding like terms. These like terms combine and we get x squared minus four x minus five. This is f plus g of x.